All right, guys, welcome. Welcome to the Trucker John Show. Today is Sunday, January 12th, 2020. Just left home a little bit ago on my way up to uh, Vermont to drop this trailer, pick up an empty, and head back down towards Fulton. Thanks for joining me, guys. It is 5 o'clock, 34 degrees. Temperature is dropping rapidly right now. We were about 62 this morning. And it's been super windy all day. And temperature is falling like a rock right now. But we had a little bit of rain overnight. Not as much as they predicted. And it's been warm. It was all warm all day yesterday. We were right around 60 and it stayed warm overnight. And now finally the cold front is pushing in and we got temperatures dropping. Well, we got 234 miles up to St. Albans, Vermont. That's where we're going to drop this truck, this trailer. Not the truck. We're going to keep the truck. We need the truck. We're going to drop the trailer there. Should be in there somewhere around 9.30, 10 o'clock tonight, something like that. And uh, we'll start heading back for Fulton. Stop wherever we want to, really. Don't know what we got planned for tomorrow, but... Uh, I'll have something. I'm, I was told they're going to give me something, so just to head back. So we'll try to get most of the way back to Fulton. We'll see. It was really kind of nice having that warm weather there for yesterday and most of the day today. Like spring. <laughs> but uh, we got got a ways to go yet with this winter, I'm sure. We're gonna have to make up for that warm weather somewhere. Um, <laughs> we gotta have a couple of big snowstorms too or something. Didn't do too much over the, uh, I was going to say over the weekend, it's actually still the weekend, it's Sunday. But pretty much was home, you know, all day Saturday, yesterday. Went to a meeting for uh, one of the clubs I'm in and uh, we did a little grocery shopping. Melissa went and got her hair cut. about it really got my laundry done cooked some really nice steaks last night I'm trying to different ways to cook them so I don't have to be outside on the barbecue grill so last couple times I've cooked steaks what I've been doing is uh, seasoning the steaks let them sit out for about 30 minutes before I cook so that they warm warm up to room temperature is what you're supposed to do really and uh, I take a cast iron uh, skillet, put a little oil in it, very little, and get it super hot. Drop the steaks in, uh, sear them two minutes each side, so two minutes only. Flip them, don't move them around or anything, just drop them in, let them sear, flip them over, let them sear two minutes, and then put them into a preheated 350 degree oven for about seven minutes. 
really kind of depends on the thickness of the steak. And you kind of kind of experiment with that time in the oven. Yesterday I had some pretty thick strip steaks, so I left them in eight minutes and it came out. I probably should have done seven. They were they weren't medium, they were still a little pink. But we like a more like medium rare, so. They were still good, don't get me wrong. It doesn't really, you know, it doesn't matter what you season them with. Sometimes I'll just put some sea salt and pepper on them, or uh, I like the, uh, not Montreal steak, I like the Chicago steak. Seasoning from, uh, I think it's Weber that makes it. And then I've also bought the seasoning from the Texas Roadhouse. That's pretty good too. Well, we had steak. Uh, tried out this stuff at Walmart. Uh, this corn on the cob they got, sweet corn. That's in the... Uh, it's not frozen, it's refrigerated. It's in the vegetable section. And you get like five ears of uh, sweet corn. It's, you know... Small, uh, small pieces of corn with the very small kernels, which sweet corn, you know, there's kernels that are a little smaller. I'll tell you what, they were good. A little expensive though. It's I think five years for three ninety seven. So it's not like the corn you get at the farm stand in the summertime, you know, price wise. But boy, that was good, really good. So like the first first 20 miles or so of the trip here we're going to be on this two lane road here taking us up to I-88 and then we'll pick up I-88 up to Albany to the throughway to 87 North the Adirondack Northway and then we're going to get off on the two lane the rest of the way up to Vermont up here so I think they had a little bit of an ice storm up this way all right guys the place is closed we're gonna leave our paperwork here by the shipping office and drop our trailer in the door it's cold out guys Woo! A little bit of snow coming down all right so we're gonna open the doors back this thing in yeah go grab an empty out of the yard yeah there's only one other land star in the door here and it's got a red light so it's probably still loaded so we'll stick this one in since it's due at 12 15 
So when they come to work at midnight, they can start unloading it. Luckily, it seems like the wind has died down. Otherwise, it'd be nasty. It dropped a couple more degrees now. We're right at 18 degrees. All right, so we're in the door. guys we got us an empty let's check her out all right our things are frozen there we go <laughs> a little bit of ice on stuff guys Let's see if we can get that to go in there. Ugh, ugh. There we go. Shoot. Yeah, I don't know if you can see it, but let's see if I can get it. everything's coated with ice. That's ice. The whole trailer. All right, shoot. Man, that thing's sluggish. You see, we got no license plate light. And there's the problem. Broken wires. Imagine that. All right. That's an easy enough fix. All right, so everything looks good except for that license plate light. We're just about done for the day. We're getting off of I-81 here. Exit 34. And we're going to Speedy's truck stop right here off the exit. We gotta cross over the highway and uh, we're there. Going over here behind the restaurant parking, it's a little bit quieter over here. 
not any through traffic over on this side. It's a lot warmer down here. We've got 29 degrees here. pretty good right there okay guys we're here at Speedy's truck stop in Parrish New York we're gonna call it a night here it is now 3 15 in the morning so get pretty tired time to stop we're only about 20 miles from Fulton here so we're we're right in the right place figure out what we're doing tomorrow we should be getting a call probably about 9 10 o'clock tomorrow morning so uh, probably going back up to Vermont but not really positive about that but should be going back up to Vermont and uh, take it from there alright guys hit that thumbs up on the way out leave me a comment down below and please subscribe if you're not already subscribed to the channel and we'll see you again next time take care everybody bye for now